Apaka chimps. Ever increasing balloon waves. No breaks at the end of each round. How far can you get? Save games will start as soon as you select play. So this is going to start as soon as we hit this button. We don't even get to think about what we're going to do. And we have to deal with these ridiculous exclamation points of, well, this is going to be crazy, on top of fiery flames of doom right below us. So if we fall in, we're dead forever. But we do have Sada. I think Sada is going to be a pretty good hero for this because... Well, let's just leave her on first for now. Because she's the only hero that's going to have automatic camp protection, attack pretty quick, and just be strong right from the get-go. Just kind of get us going in the game. So that's the plan. Hoping she's going to carry us for a little bit. Uh, but, oh crap, yellow blooms. Are you kidding me? Yellow blooms on round 7? Can we handle that? Uh-oh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe. Yes! And Sauna? Taking us all the way through! Wonderful. That was scary, though. Yellow blooms early on in the game. Not fun to deal with. So I just want to really quickly touch on what Apocalypse Mode is and how Apoc Chimps is going to be that much more difficult and ridiculously crap. Did you see this? Oh my god, how... how well, Sada can't handle this. Or can she? Oh my god, she just took it down! Okay, this is exciting. I think I want to go for a sniper as my first tower. I just want to get something that can deal with the strong bloods here because there's going to be more interesting and crazy strong bloods coming out here. So first of all, Apocalypse Mode is a never-ending wave of ridiculousness. Blutons never stop coming out against you. Uh, and they come out in usually harder and earlier rounds than they normally would come out. On top of that, you don't make any money for the round actually ending, because the round doesn't technically actually end because Blutons are non-stop coming, against, coming out against you. It's not like a race where you pop all the Blutons and you get the $100 after you pop all the Blutons for that round. There just is no $100 for you to earn. So here we go, we're gonna go for that Sniper. I'm gonna put him on Strong. And we're going to hope that that's just going to clean up some of the strong balloons as they walk in here. And Sada can still kind of clean up the rest. At least that's the that's living in the ideal world right now. So far, it's working out okay. But, uh, I, oh yeah, she's level 3 already. Sweet! So we even have an ability to, like, save us on really, really hard parts of the game. This is going to be clutch, though. I think we're going to need a lot of abilities today. Because there's going to be a lot of rounds that are just easy. Like round 11. Bunch of red balloons. No freaking problem. At all. Until big chunks of yellow balloons come out, or big chunks of regen balloons come out, or big chunks of camo regens come out, or something even worse than all of that. Early ceramics, early regrow camo leads, or even uh, crazier early moabs. Yes, which I think happens. I haven't played Apocalypse Mode in a long time, but I'm pretty sure they come out in like 38 or 39 or something like that. Or have the ability to come out that by that point, but it's not automatic, because these rounds are, again, as far as I understand random. So before the real apocalypse hits, if you guys want to be absolutely amazing and use my creator support code, that would be fantastic. It's a quite simple little SJB. Thank you guys so much and enjoy the apocalypse. Yeah, that's apocalypse mode. But now we're playing apocalypse chimps or apocalypse chimps combo. And in this game mode, basically uh, the first of all, I'm playing apocalypse chimps. I have continues allowed. Um, but that means no income. And that is honestly one of the main things that makes Apocalypse Mode manageable, is getting some income. Because every single round does not make that extra $100, but it'll still make that extra farm money. Or that extra uh, uh, ability money from uh, either druids or snipers, or whatever the heck you want to get to make that extra cash. Um, obviously no monkey knowledge, which is kind of the big issue right now. Not having those road spikes in the bag, not having our, our hero start at level 3. She's level 3 now at level 13 instead of round 6. Um... All that stuff is going to add up, and obviously all the other towers on top of that also don't have their random bonuses. So that freaking sucks. Obviously, powers don't really matter. Selling is going to matter here because we want to usually build up our way into something amazing. And one of the ways to do that sometimes is just by selling some of your crap towers to get one amazing tower that will like, carry you for a really, really long time. Unfortunately, probably unlikely to be the case to, oh my goodness, round 14. Look at this. we got to use our ability here. Oh, that might not even be good. Oh, it is. It's going to be good enough. Okay, I got a lot of money, too, but I want to spend it on. All right, I think I'm going to do something funky here. I think I'm going to go for an early monkey ace. All right, we still have to watch ourselves and maybe hope for luck. Or I could just switch the sniper to first whenever we get to some weird issues here, I guess. But I'm thinking about going for, like, some sort of top path monkey ace, just kind of throwing darts kind of in all different directions here. But I definitely have to be careful with all that nonsense. So this is going to be a non-cut video, I think. We're just going to try to go hard all day through Apocalypse Mode and just see what we can handle here. But if we get some really easy rounds in a row, we're just feeling freaking good. We'll start cutting it. I'm not entirely sure. I am brand new to this, guys. I've played Apocalypse Mode a few times, but I've never played a pocket Chimps, obviously. And uh, I, 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 so far, it's been difficult. But maybe the mid-game will start to like actually finally get things flowing and get it going pretty well. 
One of the towers that I would think would be absolutely amazing would be some sort of wall of fire wizard early on in the game, just to melt the balloons kind of as they walk in. I don't know if that's going to be manageable here. All right, let's start with the rapid fire. At least get some stuff coming out over here. Plus, this guy's going to be needed for um, the moabs are going to be coming out because a lot more moabs come out than usual. Around 40 plus, you can have not just like one moab per round, but many moabs per round. Uh, in the 40s, not even in the 50s. And then you're going to have to start dealing with BFPs by probably the early 50s, and Zoma Gods by probably like the freaking 60s or something like that. Oh, it's just scary to think about. Very unfun to think about. The good news is we have our camp detects with Sada for now. For, for now, being the keyword. But I might have to swap to some sort of full metal jacket, something or other, if I have to deal with camo leads early on in the game, which is a possibility. All right, so we got regen blooms kind of all over the place. But it doesn't seem to matter. We're going to go Lozmar Darts. I'm going to go Fighter Plane right away, which is kind of a silly thing to do because this is meant for Moabs, right? But uh, I think a lot of people don't realize this, but if you can afford that fourth tier, it is very consistent, good bloom popping power for pretty much the rest of the game on top of getting you ready for that Moab popping power. 16 darts per volley, twice as fast, and then we can go for uh, uh, Shepard Darts on top of that to pop eight balloons each instead of whatever the heck they do now, freaking four or five or whatever. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely... I guess it is getting kind of easy now. It's very weird. It, oh, yeah, look at this. Freaking zebras already. Around 24. I think the first zebra's coming out around 31. So definitely everything is coming out earlier than usual right now. Oh, look at this. Bunch of regen zebras coming out. Holy crap. All right, we got to jump on them. Uh, with the jump, with the jump, we handle it. Oh, wait. No, we don't. First. No. Okay, we're going to go for a full metal jacket. I think. And I just want to pop some stuff. That's it. And I'm also going to do an earlier jump. Oh, significantly better. Okay, so th that was not that bad. But it did make us actually have to do some work here. I think we might have to go for an odd, like, large caliber faster firing or something like that. Um, luckily, Sada's still been handling all... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Reinforced leads on 26, and a lot of them, too. Wow, this is really, uh, really heating up here. Um, luckily, Sniper's still handling them. More leads coming out with zebras all over the place. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna have to swap up my strategy here, guys. I was planning on going for a, an Operation Dark Storm, but I think I gotta swap to something else that pops regens and, and everything. I don't know, we're so close, though. Let's try to wait it out. I was gonna get an anti-regen weirdo Druid of the Jungle uh, uh, with probably lightning. As weird as it is, it's just jumping around to all the blues that are, like, consistently coming out against us might not be a bad idea at all. But I am close to this guy, so I want to try to go for it if possible. We're so close. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. Oh, crap. I don't have the camo detection. Darn. All right, so I decided to go shrapnel shot for now. It got me through the camo purples. Also gives me the camo detection here and also camo lead popping power. So uh, I don't regret it specifically because now we're starting to actually make some money here. Woo. All right, so here's our Operation Dark Storm. I've been kind of working my way up to this guy the entire game. Again, I like this guy. I feel like he's just a good, consistent balloon popper, a good, consistent Moab popper, and I kind of like having him on my team. And then, honestly, I would not feel bad about going for a Sky Shredder today. Even though the Monkey Knowledge makes him way more expensive here, I think it's 10% more expensive, um, or the lack of Monkey Knowledge makes him 10% more expensive. He's still going to be an absolute beast if we can afford him. Problem is, affording him. Money has not exactly been here. I feel like it's it's earning way less than usual, even with a lot of harder and crazier blooms coming out against us. It's not even the lack of the $100 per round. It's just the lack of something causing us to make way, way, way less money. Now, I am running into some issues with camera deck. Um, Sada can only do so much, and she's only level 6, so, like, I don't know. I'm worried about camera blooms becoming an issue long term, so I think I might, upsettingly, go for a fairly early village here. Where do I want to put it? I wonder if this is going to be close enough to get Sada in range if I, uh, if I get that bigger radius. I don't think so. I think I'm going to have to put it here. All right, let's put it... Oh, my God. I'm going to hate myself so much if we're get, we don't get one of these guys in range. But bigger radius in range, in range. Good, good, good. We're going to go for that radar scanner. We're going to go for those jungle drums. We'll have that those boosts for the rest of the game for every single tower we put in the middle here. I think there's going to be a lot of them. All right, a bunch of ceramics coming out now. Re reinforce ceramics around 38. It's kind of ridiculous, but we're handling them pretty reasonably well. Again, I really feel like the monkey ace is doing most of the work right now. Oh, crap. Look at there. There it is. All right. Early Moabs on round 39 right now have the ability to come out. We're going to go with those jungle drums, so we just have it. I think I'm going to go for something um, 
sort of low key right now. Something sort of weird. We're gonna go for a attack shooter. All right, blade shooters got buffed recently. They're still pretty freaking good. All right, so we're gonna go for a nice blade shooter. But realistically, what I want to get is I want to go for a blade maelstrom. All right, I think there's gonna be a lot of blooms coming out against us, and so many that we might want to spam a couple abilities here. I really hope this guy's worth it. $2,915 is expensive for what we've been spending on all of our towers so far. But having, I don't want to call it unlimited uh, lim unlimited popping power, but an extreme boost in popping power right when you need it is pretty awesome to have. So here we go. First mob comes out. First mob is handled. And money is actually starting to flow into our pockets now. This is nice. All right, we're going to go for that Strom. 2915. Uh, more mobs coming out here in round 43. All right. Again, barely hanging on right now. Makes me want to build like a spike factory in the back or something like that, but I, I, don't, I don't know. All right, we got to jump. I did not want to jump, but I just feel like it was a necessity for me. All right, what's our next ugh, next tower that we got to go for? I'm thinking something like an artillery battery. It's a very, very weird tower, but it's super powerful against balloons. Not bad against moebs, and it'll be really good against grouped things, which there's going to be a lot of grouped moebs coming out against this as well. Um, so that's going to be my plan. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for And plus, the heavy shells is actually not a bad tower either right now. I think we're still going to go for the bigger blast balloon buster here, though. All right, we got four moebs on the screen. Let's maelstrom this puppy. Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. Stroms are pretty awesome right now. I might want to go for a double dose or even a triple dose of Stroms. Maybe even go for a super Strom. We can get, get going on that thing. All right, there's a lot of freaking blues. I'm just going to Strom. Come on, clean them up, clean them up, clean them up, clean them up! Oh, no! All right, so I'm really glad that I'm playing uh, Himps right now. Apaka Himps instead of Apaka Chimps, because otherwise I probably would catch those things. Like, I'm seeing them going through. There's always that chance with so many things going on all at the same time that you're not going to be able to see those things. All right, so there we go. We got uh, almost enough money for our, our artillery battery. So we're just going to use that uh, Strom to get the artillery battery. Bam, Shazam. Balloon Buster is up. Money's coming into our pocket. We got a bunch of cam balloons coming up. That's not a big deal for us. On round 52. Like, see what I mean by the ridiculousness of the balloons coming out? You don't know what you're going to see. Regen balloons. Regen camo balloons. Random uh, big chunks of moabs. And then they just swap back to stupid balloons that you're, like, not used to. Like, crap tons of reinforced leads. A pocket chimps is pretty ridiculous right now. Oh my god. And then regen rainbows on regen camo rainbows on the top of that. Regen leads too? <laughs> okay, okay. But we've got artillery battery. So I am just gonna ride artillery battery into the sunset right now as as long as I can. I'm gonna hope that this guy just takes down the balloons for a long time. The only thing that I'm worried about is if I have to start dealing with big chunks of uh, Moebs or BFB. Oh my god, reinforced Moebs? For some reason that kind of slipped my mind that that was possible. You don't see them very often, specifically around 55. I don't think you see any reinforced mobs until around 60 plus, 67 or 68 or something like that. All right, we got a Strom. Uh, we're starting to make some money, though, but nothing ridiculous. Totally battery. Save the day. No. Sorry if I sound like a baby screeching, but uh, sometimes it just it happens that it's, it's a bit upsetting, you know, to deal with here. What the heck am I going to use to pop Moabs? I feel like I need something that's going to be... I mean, there's so many options. I could go for a simple tax shooter play and put it somewhere in the middle here, kind of next to my other tax shooter, and just hope that he's good enough to pop a lot of the moabs, not necessarily all the moabs. You know what? Let's let's start off with that guy. Cheap and efficient. But if I do that, I definitely need to go for a village up to primary training. And I might not go for primary mentoring just because money is that scarce right now, but I definitely need to go for some sort of uh, uh, alchemist. I'm going to try to merge it between both my tax shooter and my artillery battery here. And see if I can buff both of those guys. So I might even go for... No, 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 no. I've got to go for the middle path here. Because I need that extra mode pop of power. So yeah, this is just the way it's going to have to be. Alright, round 60! Bunch of regen leads, I guess. This is kind of weird because I don't know what I'm... I... It's like kind of fun because I'm just like, Oh yeah, look at this. Weird balloons coming out. I never see these things. I never see them in this weird combo. Oh yeah, look at the texture. Now it's doing work. This texture artillery batter combo is pretty delicious. But it will it last through BFBs? Now, the good news is, like, certain rounds that are usually really, really difficult are not necessarily going to be super, duper difficult. Like, round 63, we don't have big chunks of ceramics coming out. It's different. Now we have big chunks of BFBs, I guess. So, all right. With an artillery battery, though, we are able to take it down, and we're getting enough money for a stronger stimmed combo here. 
Oh boy. All right, so now the next question is, can we get any fifth tiers? Now the rounds are actually going by very quickly right now in this the late 60s here. Um, I guess they don't want to give you too much money, maybe? Like, they just have to go by quick. We're already at round 70. Look at that. Just jumped right through. Oh, crap. Look at that. R 76 comes out on round 70, I guess. I'm going to combine both of our abilities here. That is able to handle it. And even though I was planning on, like, artillery battering into the sunset, that does not seem like a thing that's going to happen here. So we're going to have to figure out what we want to go for. Ideally, frickin' Sky Shredder, maybe. Maybe? I say maybe because I really don't know if that's going to be a good tower for us. Like, it makes sense, you know? Lots of moabs, lots of balloons. Just like, oh, we never got sharper darts on this guy either. You know, it's only 500 bucks, so let's do it. Okay, let's start with one Strom. Also, alternatively, Super Strom might not be a bad idea. If I run into some major issues here, I'm thinking Super Strom. I'm going to Artillery Battery. Oh, crap, a blue balloon. <laughs> Imagine if every time one stupid red bloom stuck through, we had to restart completely. I would definitely have a spike factor here, which would save the day a lot, lot more, but uh, that would still just be unbelievably annoying. Unbelievably annoying. Right, we're going to go for an earlier Strom this time around. I still think I'm going to need to use my artillery battery here. It's still a, like a kind of a little bit of luck, but also I'm not really microwing like I probably should be. Just kind of like, well, when you have continues, just kind of let it flow, you know, be late, calm, please. I'm it's easy to be lazy when you're when you're doing this. All right, we got twenty-two thousand. That's actually not a bad amount of money. Um, we could buy some fifthers at this point. Obviously, Sky Shredder would be the ideal one. So twenty more thousand dollars is that could be possible. All right, another Strom flowing for us. Now we're in round eighty. So we got BFPs, reinforced BFPs now. All right. Oh crap! What? Freaking DDTs on round eighty? Are you kidding me? All right, so I'll reach level 10, but that is not going to be enough to, s to save the day. Uh, wow. Uh-oh. We also don't have time to think. The balloons are already coming out against us, so we're, it's not like we can do something to make... Ooh, we could go for attack zone. That wouldn't specifically help against the DDTs, but it would help against everything else. And I have done strategies before that have worked around that weakness. But I don't know if it's going to work for us today. I don't know. I've got to be closer to the... Oh, crap. All right. I don't know, man. I don't know. DDTs. What are we going to do for those things? I could go for a second village. You know what? At this point, I have no idea what to do. Taxstone is even keep us in the game against these blues right now. What the heck? That was round 80 we lost on. We got 20 more rounds to go, and there's many DDTs coming out in round 80. Are you kidding me? Okay, I really don't love this idea, but I've been really enjoying abilities. So Super Maltrom is not going to be a bad tower at all for us. My question is, what kind of other abilities or towers do we want to go for? Because consistency does matter when you use abilities. Once I don't have the Super Strom anymore, what else am I going to use to defend? Plus, this guy does pop DDTs, which is good news. So, uh, it's not automatic or anything like that, but it's a pretty decent... He's got cam addiction, right? He does indeed, okay. I guess because I have him, I'm gonna go primer mentoring as well. And then, whoa, baby, look at these, uh, uh, blues. Wowzers. Wowzers. We gotta... <laughs> what the heck? Another Super Strom going up right now. We're making money off of these guys, but it just seems ridiculous. All right. More DDTs. We're on round 81 now, though. Which is actually kind of a bad thing because I don't have any abilities anymore. But I've got some money. $16,000 worth of money. Got a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, I've decided to try to go for a Spike Storm ability as one of my extra new abilities. Because, you know, abilities are for what the heck? Oh! Oh! Really? Even with a Spike Factory and everything? Oh, it's already locked in. I can't change it anymore. It's here. It's official. All right. Well, let's hope for the best then. I honestly think Taxone's still my best next option. Um, even though DDTs are like kind of becoming an issue. Whoa. Why are they so tanky? Look at these things. I mean, these are not just like regular old turn. They're definitely mega super ceramics at this point in the game, which is very weird. Uh, they're beyond regular super ceramics. I, I, I don't know the level that they are, but look, look at the health on these things. These are definitely stronger than they should be. At least I, as far as I can tell. All right, we got uh, crap all over the place right here. Um, 
We're gonna have to go for a quick Sauda ability again. That's gonna get us to the point where we can use Super Strom if we need it, which I guess it's about that time because we got Soma Gods and everything kind of on top of us right now. We've got $17,000 here and I still don't know what I wanna go for next. But I can tell you right now, things are still not going great. All right, we're just gonna go for this Strom even though DDTs aren't here because I think, you know what? It's just freaking tax zone time. Here it is, we got tax zone. We got primary mentoring. This is gonna be great against everything but DDTs. And still not unstoppable against everything but DDTs, though. Look at these super ceramics! Holy crap, they're tanking through super stroms! Look at this super ceramic! Oh my god. Okay, so I'm really, really, really glad I have it continues. And we're at round 86 now. But I've just got 15 more rounds to go. 15 more rounds to go. What could I possibly do here to make this better? Oh boy. Um, I truthfully do not know the answer to this, but... I think I'm going to need something to stop these uh, balloons a little more effectively, so if I could fit this in range of the village would be awesome. Uh, but it's now going to steal the alchemy. Okay, you know what? Oh, I really want it to go right here. Come on, come on! Space is so white! Okay, I think I have to put it next to my alchemist, which is something I don't want to do. I might even build another alchemist just to... Yeah, let's do that. We're going to build another alchemist. We're going to go for another cannon. We're going to put the cannon just right here. We're going to go for a top path cannon. Blue impact with faster reload. We're hoping that the tax zone is going to uh, murder the Moabs. And this guy's going to slow down the ceramics, just giving me more time for my tax zone and my other towers, like the Super Strom, to do work against him. And we're past round, uh, into round 87 now, which is amazing. We're officially locked into our strategy at this point. And we're going to have to start thinking about what we're going to do for more DDT popping power. Because currently that is our definite, definite big issue here. Um, I'll start off with one of these guys. No guarantees on it actually working perfectly, but it, it'll help a little bit. And then... There's only a couple options. I mean, we could go for something that's just going to specifically try to slow down the DDTs, like a top path sniper. We could go for an ability that's going to try to slow down the DDTs or even hurt the DDTs extra, like a glue strike or glue storm. Kind of expensive to go for something like that, but... Now that I already have primary monkeys, might not be too bad of an idea. I think first, because I have the ability to get it, and actually in range here, I'm going to go for a bottom path glue. Let's get a Moab glue going, just to slow those DDTs down, and or BFBs. Holy crap, nuggets! Lots of DDTs coming out right now. We definitely need the Spike Storm this stuff. With the Spike Storm. Yeah. Oh, there's Reinforced! Reinforced! Forced. Can we take this down too? Uh-oh, this is going to be close. Be really close with some micro super strong and a, a sauna ability we do manage to take down reinforced ddt's on round 90. oh my goodness okay now we got the bow up glue i'm gonna go for the bigger lops but not the splatter i need i need that uh i need that money it's unfortunate but 780 dollars could be the game uh the difference between winning and losing oh my gosh all right there we go round 91's gonna kill us so what if you guys saw, but there is reinforced Oh My Gods coming out now with the reinforced DDTs on round 91. And I don't have that much more money than usual. In fact, I feel like I have way less money than usual. And I'm not sure what to do about it because I can't sell. I can't do anything. Ugh. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to try to go for the uh, top path sniper. That's going to be my, my plan. So I'm going to start off with Super Strong here. Uh, super strong, by the way. I don't want to say he's carrying, but even though his pop count looks really, really low, he, he is he's doing what he needs to do. He's really keeping me in the game right now. Uh, we're going to go for a quick quick uh, carpet of spikes here. Still a few trust. Oh my god, bring so many reinforced DPs mixed into everything here. Um, another super strong, I guess. Okay, that is a problem. The ceramics are so strong. But they're just running right through my defense without me being able to do anything about it. And I don't know the answer because it's got to be camo. You know what? I think I might have to just try it and just see if it's going to work. We're going to try for a spike balls. Uh, it's it, pretty powerful against ceramics. Not impossible to actually make him do something here. And since it's just a few here and there that are sneaking through, this like could be the answer. All right. We still have to, we have to make sure that we... <laughs> Alright, I gotta be honest with you guys, this was way more difficult than I thought. 
and it's not like I can restart, uh, like, five rounds back and readjust. I'm stuck with what I have. There's no selling. I'm stuck with my tax, and I'm stuck with my super spawn. I only get to play around with the small, tiny bits of baby money that I have left right now. That's it. That is it. All right, another Strom. All right, the Strom's working out pretty wonderfully right now. Oh, heck yeah, he's working out good. Uh, the one tower that I think I would sell right now uh, is my artillery battery. I I don't love them. Honestly, I don't love them right now. All right, so here we go. First of all, spike balls. Bam. All right, I'm going to go for that fast production and everything. Got uh, everything kind of all over the place right here. Lots of uh, DDTs getting in the way of this is, oh my god, popping power, which is unfortunate. We're going to go for the artillery battery here, and I'm going to try to save my assault ability if possible. You know what? We got a lot of ceramics in the middle of all that. Let's just go for it. Assault ability kind of early. And we got super strong ready to go again. All right, so abilities definitely super duper important for us for an apocalypse mode, and we're gonna get that even fast production and everything here, and we've got some extra money to spare, and we're moving up in the rounds. We're already on round 93. When the heck did that happen? Okay. So this means I have a feeling that round 95 is going to be a bunch of reinforced DDTs based on what I've seen before. It seems like whatever they want to do to the rounds, they just make them significantly more intense. So is there anything that I can do to specifically pop DDTs or reinforce DDTs? Another spike storm might not be a bad option. Oddly enough, a weird uh, sticky bomb ninja. But that doesn't seem like it's going to do enough damage against the ridiculous amount of mobs coming in against us. I could go for something weird like a wizard, an arcane spike, or something like that. It's going to do a lot of damage to a lot of weird balloons, but I'm still liking the ability. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to try to swap over to another ability that might not seem like it uh, would even be thought about in a lot of situations. But in this situation, it's just freaking perfect. All right, first of all, ooh, 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 oh, look at that spike balls. We're talking about the ground zero. If you could just insta-kill or at least damage all the balloons on the screen a significant amount, that's going to be a life savior for us, and it's only 8,000 levels away. In fact, spamming ground zeros from now on might be the best strategy for us. Holy crap, look at these super ceramics, dude. What are you supposed to do? Spike balls, I guess. <laughs> Seems to be the answer. All right, we beat round 95. It was not a bunch of reinforced DDTs that I saw. Um, again, the randomness aspect. Spike Storm here, so I got another picture of abilities. And ground zero is just like a few seconds away. All right. GZ. GZ might equal GG. We got four, five more rounds to go. And so far, I'm feeling reasonably comfortable. Reasonably. Not super comfy. Uh, I don't want to waste it, though. I want to use it when I actually need it, because, again, you don't know when those rounds are going to end. You don't know when you're going to be locked into, for sure, those abilities is all, all that you have. So, if possible, I would just never use it until round 100. And now that I think about it, do we have to deal with bads before that point? All right, so auto ability. What level is she, by the way? Let's check her out. She did a great job cleaning up those balloons. She's level 17 already. Sweet. She is on first. I could move her to strong, but she's doing fine, so we're just going to leave her as she is. And we're on round 98 now. Usually a very beefy balloon round, but in today's situation, a bunch of reinforced BFPs, I guess. Fair enough. And we got $11,000 again, so I think we'll do it. I'll probably go for a second currency pro. If possible. I mean, I got two more rounds to save up money. Um, and at this point, it's honestly not even that much money invested if I don't get a ground zero. All right, I went for a solid ability to try to save up all of my other abilities here. Thanks. Oh, round 99, a bunch of reinforced... Or not, yeah, reinforced regen LEDs. Regen camo leads. Everything you could do to those leads. That's what happened. Uh, and it looks like we're going to make the round 100 here, folks. The question is, will oh, will our current defense be able to pop a freaking bad balloon? So, oh, and there's oh no, there's other balloons coming out too, all in the way. All right, we got to start microing. Um, this isn't even doing that much, but it's going to do something. I already used Sada's ability here to start cleaning some of these guys up. I've got to go for a super strong here, even though this isn't perfect timing. I'm going to go for my jump here, which should have... I should have put Sada on strong first. And all I've got right now is a ground zero. We're going to wait it out for as long as I possibly can before I use my ground zero. And I'm actually almost the, about the ability to take a second ground zero into position. Oh, wait, here we go. Bam, use the ground zero. Get a second ground zero ability. Use the super storm to keep us in uh, play right now. Uh, another strom. I'm not even saying the right words right now, but that's okay. We're going to pretend like we're doing it right. And the ground zero is up to clean it up. Maybe? Oh, my God, ground zero. I used it too early, didn't I? Come on, come on, come on. 
I'm not getting another ground to her, but I do have the artillery battery. We got a super strong with an artillery battery combo. Can we handle it? Just a few balloons left. DDT is trying to get to the very back over here. We're about to get another ground zero. Oh no. Ground zero, save the day, please. Ground zero. Yes, and we did it. Barely hanging on. Woo. All right, so there's the uh, tax zone with 833,000 pops. Unbelievable. Um, I can't continue playing or anything like that because I'm playing the challenge editor because obviously a chimps apocalypse combo doesn't actually work, but here we are. That was weird. That was really weird. I really enjoyed this challenge though. It was so goofy and so fun and so interesting. And I'm considering doing other apocalypse challenges because this was just so weird and cool. If you guys have any other ideas for me, please let me know in the comments below. Um, but if you haven't, please press that like button. Please subscribe. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.